One of the first things that you notice about Windows 8 is what's not there. Now, let's take a very focused look in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, looking down here, what do you see? You see Internet Explorer, and you can see a way to get to the new uh, File Explorer. But what's missing is the Start button. The thing that we've known for a long time, the thing that we've always gone to and clicked on if we don't know where anything else is, this beloved Start button, my friends, is gone. It's not there anymore. But there's no reason to get into panic. Now, zoom in really close inside of here. Here's kind of where it went. It's down at the very, very, very corner down here. And if you put your mouse cursor down there, you are going to notice the little start icon that we have down here. Now, if you look at it this way, you'll be okay. And that is that this is pretty much a start button. Now, we can also get here by looking at our keyboard, taking our finger, and pushing down on the Windows key. And what that's going to do is pop up the start screen. Now, if you look at it this way, with the start screen, that is your start button. It's a start screen now. It's a little confusing, I know. A little frustration, I'm aware. But there's your start button right here. Now, the idea is this, that you have all of the things that you use during the course of a day with your computer right here. So it's easily accessible. And it's also a transitionary uh, kind of interface that we have here. Because you know and I know, we're going from mouse and keyboard to touch. Touch screens, touch here, touch there. Uh, you might be even taking this course on a Windows Pro tablet that you still have the touch, uh, touch screen technology. So clicking on little icons and little little links like that or tapping on something that's meant to be clicked, to, clicked on isn't the easiest thing to do. Now, quick little things how to get around a little bit better with the start screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with what's called a right click. And you can see it right there that this brings up a little bar on the bottom. And then over on the right hand side, you see all apps. And there they are. All the applications on my computer. Now they're not necessarily on the start screen per se. However, you can put them on there. Let's just say we take, oh, I don't know, calculator because we're doing a lot of calculations and I just right clicked on calculator and you can see down here we have a lot of different things that we can do with the calculator we can pin it to the start we can pin it to the taskbar we can open up a new window we can run it as administrator and we can open up the file location now what I'm going to do is right over here pin to start and what that's going to do is it's going to put it in our start screen so if we use the calculator a lot, let me check on that. There we are. And what it's going to do is when we go to our start screen, it's going to have that uh, tile that we can tap on or click on. So customizing the start screen is going to make it easier for you to get around in. So the question to what happened to the start button it turned into the start screen, as you can see right here. Now, what I want to show you, look at there, look at there, calculator. So now I can tap or click on this calculator, and what it's going to do is take us to desktop mode, and there's our calculator right there. We can do whatever we want with it, do our calculations, and it pretty much looks like all the calculators that we had before. Now, if I want to go back to my start screen, I take my finger, and I push it down on the little Windows button. You see right there. And there is your start button, which is now a start screen. So to answer the mystery, what happened to the start button? <sighs> they took it out. And what has replaced it, kind of, is the start screen. So that is what happened to the start button in Windows 8.